Hugging at camp is an easy task, right? Well, for a new backpacker, it's something often overlooked. Small mistakes can ruin a meal, but other mistakes can cause serious injury. What's up, guys? My name is Dan, and in this video, we're going to be talking through some of those mistakes and how to avoid them. If I was going for a weekend backpacking trip, this is ridiculous. The first mistake is people often bring way too much food when they go backpacking. Uh, if you're a survivalist, you're gonna instantly disagree with that and you're gonna be telling me that I should be packing days and days of extra food because what happens if I get lost out in the wilderness and I have to somehow feed myself? You're only really gonna need maybe an extra day's worth of food. There's so many means to um, be able to contact emergency services if something goes wrong. But that's not even really the big problem. The biggest problem is, is that oftentimes we carry food that's just too heavy and we're so worried about our weight as far as the amount of food that we're carrying. And then we get back home and we realize that this, you know, five ounce or six or even seven ounce meal that we brought with us, we still have when we got back home. So what I like to do is maybe bring one extra day's worth of food with me or maybe just an extra meal with me. And that way I know that when I'm at camp, I'm eating just the amount that I need because I understand how much calories I typically need when I'm backpacking, which is a lot more than normal, but um, I'm not gonna be overtaking the amount of food for that trip. And that way I'm not carrying all that extra weight with me as I'm hiking. Rule of thumb is when you're backpacking, you really only need to bring maybe a pound and a half to two pounds of food per day that you're actually gonna be eating. And I'm talking like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And most of those meals are gonna be the dehydrated or the dried up meals. So you're actually adding water to provide more weight to that meal. But that gives you kind of an idea of about how much you're gonna need every day you're out there. Like this is probably the dumbest thing I've ever done. Look at how close I'm sitting to this right now. Like if this tipped over on me right now, watch this. There's gonna be boiling water in there. Like if this fell on me, that, my, my, I'm going to the hospital. I think you're being a big baby. <laughs> Want to swat, switch spots and I'll tip it over on you? <laughs> Another mistake is something that I still make to this day a lot, and it's just something you kind of you kind of have to deal with, is you start cooking your food just like this, but you have the pot handles, because most pots come with handles like this, still folded in. Now the problem is, is most pots uh, that people are using for backpacking are titanium. Titanium transfers heat really, really well. So these handles are extremely hot right now. If I were to try to grab those handles, I'm burning my hands. If I burn my hands out in the backcountry, that means that I'm injured out in the backcountry. That's not gonna be fun. Now in this situation, if I'm cooking just like this at my tent and I'm sitting like this, the smart thing to do is to turn off my water like this and I'm really just gonna wait for this to be done boiling, or I'm gonna find something laying around me like a, uh, a buff or something that I can grab the pot safely and move it away because right now, this is a pretty tippy situation. And if this were to fall on me, I've got boiling water on me as well. So make sure that you're in a safe position, you've got your handles out before you even think about boiling that water. Wow, that is hot. <laughs> Holy crud. <laughs> Hand me the burrito, yeah, thanks. If we make this for the video right now, I'll eat it. <laughs> this is definitely not for you. <laughs> I'm eating this one. So mean. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering like, what's a good meal to eat out in the backcountry, you guys seriously need to check these out. Pinnacle Foods, so good. This is not a sponsored video at all. I just absolutely love their food. I'll put a link in the description for it. This is their Chipotle beef burrito. So one of the mistakes that people often make when they're in the backcountry like this is Number one, <laughs> they forget to take these out, the oxygen things. You know how many times I've cooked food with this in there and not fun? That's not the big mistake. That's not that big of a deal. The big mistake is they will literally take their boiling water just like this and begin to pour, holding the bag, their boiling water into the bag. Big mistake. You do not want to be injured while you're out there. First of all, you're going to turn off your stove you're gonna set your bag down on the ground in a safe place. You can hold it maybe at one end, and then you're gonna to begin to pour into the bag like this. Because now it's safely away from you, 
and you're not risking any injury on yourself. You do not want to have a serious injury like boiling water hitting on your hand while you're out on trail. Not fun, especially when you are literally miles from a place where you can get medical attention. Ooh, it looks good. Emmett, spoon please. Are you kidding me? Next mistake is very easy to make. Most people make it is that they buy a spoon like this. It's just way too short. You do not want a small spoon or fork or fork when you're out there. You want something nice and long to be able to dig into the bottom of those bags, those food bags like this. And now this bag just happens to be one of the shorter ones. But if you have a larger one like this, your hand is going to be super dirty. Now the hack is you obviously just tear this shorter, but it's nice that you don't as well because they also zip lock at the top so you can store it easier in your garbage bag without having it open and leaking all over on the inside of your backpack when you pack out your garbage. But it's nice to have a spoon like this. <laughs> a long handle spoon. I got this one. <laughs> Timer's going off for the food. I got this one from Walmart of all places. It's an Ozark trail spoon, but you can actually stop at like a Dairy Queen or a McDonald's and like grab one of them long handled plastic spoons for free before you even get out to your backpacking trip to be able to dig into the bottom of those food bags. Mm. That's actually pretty good. All right, that last clip was really good. What do you want to do next? Um, you might have to give me a minute. There's like a million beans in here. So I'll be right back. Got my poop kit. You were gone a while, man. Is everything all right? I don't want to talk about it. This happens way more often than you would think. Relax. It's dark chocolate. Delicious. Okay, as disgusting as that would be, that is actually the next mistake. <laughs> that is a more common mistake than you would think. People will actually go to the bathroom and then not wash their hands, come back, eat, and they're gonna get sick. Uh, now, it's obviously not always possible to wash your hands out in the backcountry, but you're gonna wanna bring some sort of a camp soap, or what I do is I just bring hand sanitizer out there, and I separately bag my hand sanitizer because this can actually kind of explode, especially if you've flown out to where you're going. Um, but I, it will be much safer in a plastic bag. You wanna make sure you fully sanitize all of your hands. <laughs> you know, if you have to get to a river, use some water out of that, wipe it down, uh, or take some water that you've got left over and wash off your hands as best as you can and then eat. You just don't wanna have anything bad happen out in the back country. You do not wanna have any stomach issues, especially out in the back country to where you're now having to like throw up and get really sick and get dehydrated. Cause you're actually far enough away from medical attention where that can actually be very dangerous. Another mistake is not bringing enough coffee into the back country, am I right, Emmett? Let's just end the video, man. Another mistake is going backpacking with people who don't like coffee, apparently. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit the like button. Also subscribe for more. Hit the bell notification so I can send you a video every single time it's released. And I will see you on the next one.